Okay, hello everyone. Let's get started. So we continue our videos related to Scoop, a special tool which allows us to export data from uh, MySQL or any other relational database management system to Hadoop cluster. And in last video we talked about how we can export data to HDFS. Uh, today we'll talk about how we can do this export not into HDFS uh, files but directly to uh, big data uh, database called Hive. Uh, so don't worry if you don't know what Hive is and how to work with it. So the essential things we'll cover in these videos and we also plan to have a special series of videos related to Hive because nowadays it's extremely important in a big data ecosystem. Right? So, okay, let's get started. Let's open a terminal. Okay, let's first connect to our SQL instance. Okay, so as a reminder, password everywhere is Cloudera. Show databases. Let's see what we have. Oh, sorry, typo. Okay, let's take retail DB as we did last time. So, if you haven't seen a previous video, I strongly advise to do that right now. So, you'll see a link on the right upper corner. But otherwise, let's continue and let's look at customers, for example. Let's look at customers. Select from customers. Let's see what what we have here. Oh, sorry. Customers. Okay, fine. Seems we have quite much data. That's good, of course. Okay. 12,000 something. Okay, that's that's good. Okay, let's move to our HDFS cl uh, Hadoop cluster. Okay, so first let's look around in our uh, Hive database. Okay, so we started by just executing Hive command in our terminal. So that will take some time to start. Uh, so, uh, so while we are waiting, uh, I would like to remind you that almost each of our videos is also accomplished by a, a post available in our blog, blog.dataguru.guide. Uh, where you can find uh, much detailed information about topics which we discuss in the videos. Um, so don't forget to bookmark this page as well. Okay. And also let's open the third terminal from which we'll actually start our scoop. Okay. Hive. So the syntax of Hive is quite similar to SQL. Uh, so let's see which databases actually we actually have here. Databases. Okay. We shouldn't have too much. Okay, only one default. Let's create a new one. Export DB. Create database export db. Okay. Okay, use export db. Okay. Um, okay. Let's describe uh, customers customers table. 
okay just to know the types which we need to in order to create a table in Hive to where we'll load all data from relational database right okay so let's create this table create table customers okay uh, customer ID int customer first name varchar45 okay okay so that will take some time of course okay so if you don't want you can just move to the part where we actually do the export okay let me speed up that a bit when we'll talk about about advanced scoop options we'll see how we can actually do the export uh, without without specifying or previously creating a table a target table I mean uh, so how we can uh, make scoop do that automatically for us and uh, basically that the, that the best way how to do that um, so and now we are creating a table manually just to show you how this process works right varchar and finally customer zip code varchar 45 okay ah customer street sorry it should be 255 and of course uh, the names of the columns in Hive it's not mandatory to have the same naming as it is here yeah so that's just for for simplicity yeah? so the names of the columns could be different so the only thing the number of columns in MySQL should be the same like in Hive and the data types should also be the same right so if uh, we have int or integer so the same should be in Hive as well okay so it seems okay let's 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 check before we begin show tables okay we have column uh, table customers let's check how many records we have here we shouldn't have any okay so hive now starts a uh, map reduce job to find out uh, how many rows of data we have in uh, this table uh, but we shouldn't have any let's see course it will take a while so while it's counting let's move to scoop okay so as usual scoop import connection string connect so GDBC Java database connectivity then we specify that the protocol is MySQL then the server name in our case it's just localhost and database name database name retail db retail db okay then we have username as root password sorry 
screen. Password is Cloudera. Okay, so table it's customers. Table customers. Okay, and then we should uh, tell Scoop something about destination. That means about Hive, right? So first we need to uh, specify the home folder of of Hive, Hive Home. Okay, and in Cloudera distribution, it's user Hive and warehouse warehouse okay the next one is um, we specify that it's hive import so we import uh, data to hive database also it's usually says that override so meaning that if this table or any data in the table already exists we ask scoop to override everything uh, of course, it's not mandatory, but let, let's let's do that now. And finally, table name uh, to where we want to export. Okay, and here you can see yeah, that uh, Hive has counted how many rows of data we have in customers, and as we predicted, it's zero now. Yeah. And Hive table. So the database name was export export db and table name is customers database name dot table name and it is customers okay let's launch it let's launch and see how it works if it works it should uh, so just as a reminder, we didn't have anything here, uh, so the table was completely empty. And in home table, so to say, we had 1,235. Okay. Okay, and let's see. Okay. Uh, let's see let's wait a bit so we are about to start a map reduce job which is used by scoop to export data uh, so as you see it split it split it into four streams and the total amount of data or rows of data to be exported is 12 and 12,435. 12,435 like we had uh, so it's going to export everything it has uh, so in the next video when we'll talk about advanced uh, scoop import options we'll talk about how we can specify or ask scoop to import data which uh, is a subset of the initial data so for example we want to import data based on the uh, some kind of condition uh, so for example we want to uh, import data uh, from all columns if if let's say name of the customer starts with a for example yeah so we'll see how we can write a condition for data to be imported yeah, that's also a pretty important pretty important thing Okay, so the map reduce job is running, or at least it's scheduled to, to run. Okay, let's wait a bit. Okay, 50%, that's, that's fine. Almost half. So while we are waiting, uh, just a reminder, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that yet. Um, so you will not miss any any videos posted on this channel also 
another reminder about our blog available at blog.dataguru.guide where we post some articles related to big data and usually all videos we have we have on our YouTube channel are accomplished by a, by an article on on the blog site yeah? so please don't forget okay seems we are done yeah we are done okay so it retrieved uh, 12,435 12, records like we had okay uh, after, and so it's exported uh, it's exported to the desired hive table okay let's check that so as a reminder before the scoop job we uh, launched a count job map reduce job from hive console and the result we got zero so we didn't have anything let's recount it and see so if everything worked as it should we now should have 12,435 records in this table let's see if it is or it's not well uh, we can assume that it is because we didn't get any errors and it seems every everything worked fine but yeah let's let's check so it will take uh, take a while okay in the mean, uh, meantime we can close this uh, g edit okay map reduce job should have a result soon and after counting let's also uh, screen some some rows of the data and compare to what we had here if if during export nothing for example has been corrupted or mixed up or something like that yeah? so that's also uh, should be checked okay we are about to finish this map reduce job okay so reduce part is completed as well okay so as you see 12,435 like we had in our uh, MySQL table okay and now let's just print out a couple of rows customers limit 10 let's say so we want just to take 10 rows of all this set out of this set okay so seems seems to be okay right okay uh, so that will also conclude our video related to scoop import from relational database management system in our case mysql to a big data database called hive okay so thanks to all for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel visit our website available at blog.dataguru.guide so if you have any questions or comments just post them uh, above this video not above but below the video but that's all for today thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye